afternoon. And uh, thank you everyone for joining the session today. And uh, we want to talk about um, initial stock entry in SAP. So initial stock upload in SAP WM. So if I'm using SAP WM, then how can we upload initial inventory? So for example, we have this material and uh, some pieces, some quantity of this material we want to upload. So the transaction code, uh, movement type for uploading the initial inventory is 561. Okay. So we have this material, which is a warehouse views, etc. So first and foremost, we go back and then we check the inventory of this material. So we go to LS24, for example, we put this material and we put the plant, we hit enter. And then we have this inventory. So we have a 10 pieces here, 100 pieces here, 72 pieces here. So that is how inventory status is already there. We just wanted to check and verify what we have. Now the start of the process, the process it starts with a gurusit and the movement type for that is 561. So we go to back, we go to 561, and we go to Migo, for example, and uh, Migo using movement type 561. 561 is movement type for initial stock entry. So we need to go to seat, others, and we select movement type 561. We put the plant 1000. We put this to location 0088 because this is to location has a uh, uh, warehouse. Uh, with this uh, is to location is connected to warehouse. Let us say we want to uh, upload uh, 40 pieces, whatever quantity. Then we go to material and then we enter material number. So this is our material. So what we are doing? So we are saying that this material, 33366 and um, 40 pieces in this plant, in this is location, we are doing initial stock entry, movement F561. And then WM view appears, and then we hit check. And when we hit check, we verify, we got a green light, everything is okay, and then we save it. So step number one is done, which is the initial stock entry in IM and in the WM. Okay. So that is what we are um try to do so material document 500 has been posted after doing that then next step is i want to go back and check the uh, warehouse inventory stock so we go to ls24 and then if you go to invent, uh, inventory stock and um so that basically means we hit enter And now if you see that 40 pieces has been put in the storage type 998 and bin number equals to AUFNME. So this is basically our storage bin. So when I do, um, so what happens is, so when we do go to seat, it goes to storage type 9999 and then basically this is my storage bin so at moment type 561 so when we do 561 then material is placed in uh, 998 and bin in interim storage area Equals to a UFN. Okay. 
so that is the standard sap behavior so now what we have to do so that is what it happens now how so we we also verify for example we go back we go back go back and if i go to configuration we go to spro we go to sap reference img we go to uh, logistic execution we go to uh, warehouse management and then if you go to our strategies or activities transfers define moment type and if I go to here to define moment type, then we want to see some of the moment type. So moment type 561 and what kind of a moment type 561 is. So um, that is the one we wanted to talk about and understand what is moment type. So what is the, just to recap. So when we do go receipt, transaction code moment um, uh, uh, 561, then material is placed into in this now what we want to do is so this is my source because this is where the material is lying now we want to do, put into destination so this is now going to destination so i want to do destination storage type Say 001 and the bin in it. So, which is the final bin and the storage stuff? So that is will that will come from creating from the transfer order. Because transfer order will transfer 998 from this bin to this storage type, and whatever the final storage bin is. So if you go back here. And if we check uh, configuration 561 and then uh, 0001 moment type 561, if we double click on it, then here, what do we see for 561-998-AUFNHME? And that is what you will see. So if I open another session and if I go to LS24, and I put my material in the plant and hit execute. And that is why this 40 pieces has been put into storage type 998 and interim storage bin AUFNAHME. So that is the reason for the material being kept into this storage type in this bin and the quantity 40 pieces. Okay, now we go to the next step. So the next step is to create a transfer order. So now we have to move the material and for that, we go to um, transfer order, uh, transaction code LT10. Okay. So we have here, we go back, we go back. So we go to logistics, we go to logistic execution, we go to uh, internal warehouse processes, and we go to, um, you know, uh, create transfer order create transfer order and here we have a LT10. LT10 is basically creating a transfer order. So this is a stock transfer. We put uh, our um, warehouse 001 because that's one we have used. A storage, uh, a storage type 998 because 998 is the interim storage area in case of initial stock entry. And the moment type is 999. Okay and then we hit execute now there are so many different material is line so i will put my plant also 1000 and i will put my store location also so we can uh, close the other side and now see what we see here so now we have this material so we still have a lot of, uh, so these are the different material and this is the material which we have created. Now for this material is lying in this bin, 
and uh, plant this 40 pieces and lying into storage type 998. Now we go to create stock transfer foreground. So we want to create transfer order. Now system is asking us to enter the storage type. So I want to enter in the storage type 001. System is asking for to enter the storage bin. So what is the storage bin? So we select storage bin, which we want. We select a storage bin. And let us say we select the storage bin this. Now here, I can also say I want to confirm immediately as well. So along with that, I also want to confirm. Movement type is 999. So 99 is movement type to transfer the material from this bin to this bin, uh, from this bin, storage type 001 from the storage type 998. So we are transferring from 998 to 001 from bin this to bin this. And copy. We got a green light. So we got a green light. And if I refresh, that will go away. And after that, we wanted to go to our LS24. And now I want to check the stock and see what is the situation here. So this is my warehouse material plant. Hit enter. Now 998 is gone. There's 40 pieces lying into 001 storage bin this. So now we are able to upload the material. So let us recap the process. We create uh, before we selected material. We did go to seat movement I501. When I do 561, when I do 561, material get placed in 998. Interim storage bin equals to this. Then we create a transfer order, LT10. What does it do? It takes the material from this storage type to whatever storage type we want, in our case 001. From this bin to whatever bin we want to keep. Movement type is 999. 999 movement type, which is used to transfer the material in case of initial stop entry. We also did a confirmation automatically while placing material and we verify the stock and material has been placed. So that's the for today. Thank you very much and please like the video. Thank you very much. Take care.